Welcome to Aussie Kicks. On today's show, well, we've got some more breaking news coming out of Tamiya, and that is the Super Avanti. We'll, we'll get to that. Anyway, so we've seen some pictures of it, and there's a bit more specifications about it. Now, we will find out tomorrow. There's the, going to be a live stream on YouTube Tamiya um, going over all the specifications of it. We haven't seen any chassis shots yet, but there's a bit more information, so I'm going to run through some of that. So it's a shaft driven TD4 Super Avanti. Uh, dual onboard front shocks, so we know it's got lay down shocks and there's two of them. Now from the photos, we can see they've actually left a window in the top of the body so you can see the shocks. Now, I think that kind of spurred itself from the uh, TC01 where people were starting to put windows into their bodies to see the shocks moving. It also looks like it has a few parts from the TC01 as well in there to do the front shocks. Now, I kind of like that. I'm going to give them, uh, give them a thumbs up for doing something slightly different and putting onboard shocks to give that clean nose. That's really good from that point of view. Um, it's got bolt-on air vents that go across the back, which give it sort of like little winglets so the, the air is supposed to flow through. That I kind of like as well. Overall, I quite like the body. The problem I think they've got at the moment is that blue and yellow is a very grating design color choice for box art. So I think it makes it look a bit more ugly, but I think if you sprayed it up a different color, I think it would look a lot, lot better. So I have got some, I am kind of excited about the way it looks. I definitely like that it's a character car. I think it has got some character to it. Um, which I've always been banging on. I think Cameo should stick to doing that kind of stuff because they can't really do out and out races and uh, they're kind of boring, ugly looking things anyway. So I think this is a step in the right direction for them. I just think the color choice of the blue and yellow is a bit grating and a bit gaudy. What else? Uh, well, the designer, his name is Kota Nezu. Sorry if I ruined that. And he's from Snug Design. So they got someone to come in and design the body for them. Now, uh, it's a one piece monocoque frame. So I'm guessing it's not going to be carbon and stuff like that, which again, mm, it's got ball diffs front and rear and they are the same ball diff. Apparently, uh, it's got the battery position is a longitudinal battery position and a transverse motor. It has got CVA oil shocks and it comes with full bearings. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, the rear wing on it, when I looked at the actual photo of it, looked really low. I didn't really like that. And that kind of harps back to this design on the Mark II where the actual wing is below the um, upright and it just looks weird. But apparently you get two choices on a low and high. I hope the photo is the low one because it needs to be higher. It really does um, from that point of view. So what do you guys think? I think the little tiny wheel arches are a bit naff. Uh, I think that you could have designed them a little bit more sexy looking. They'd kind of just stuck on there, but you can obviously remove them if you wish, uh, or you could paint them a different color so they don't stand out as much. So from my point of view, I there's, it, there's pros and there's cons. I actually like the look of the buggy. If you just look at the design layout of the buggy, I like it. I think with some tweaks, it can look a lot better, whether it's removing those little arches or changing the colors. I like the driver. I like that it is a character car. Whether those side window bits are, you just spray them in or whether you'd actually leave them. I don't know until you get it in your hands. From that point of view, I think they kind of messed up a bit with the wheels. The color of the wheels doesn't match the color of the body and that clashes and grates a little bit. So I think changing the wheels. So I think this might be one where a lot of people can go off box art and do something quite nice with it. So I think it has potential from that point of view. But until we dive into it and see what's underneath, but I'm a bit worried that it's going to be a bit low, uh, low level kit and kind of just make the same mistakes that we saw in the Mark II Avanti. Now, I prefer the look of that to this. I think it is more character car like the original, 
with the whole cockpit and driver. And it's better looking than the Avanti Mark II, but they have... Yeah. The Avanti name is very special to a lot of collectors, and I think they are... Yes, they are putting it on a dedicated chassis that we haven't seen from another car, which is a step in the right direction, but... People were expecting high level kits with good engineering and parts and stuff like that. And I think again, it's a watering down of their brand. Anyway, that's all we've got until tomorrow. So we'll just have to wait and see. Comment below. I think you guys are gonna have lots of comments on this car. So uh, I look forward to reading them and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.